Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there. Today, we've got to talk about... Not that I want to really talk about it, but we've got to talk about it. We've got to talk about the upcoming release of another 350, another Yeezy 350. We've got to talk about the Adidas Yeezy 350 Yesaya colorway. I think it's pronounced Yesaya. I honestly don't know at this point. 2019 and 2020, Kanye's just like, hey... Let's roll the dice and see what name I can come up with for this new colorway. I, 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 I'm honestly skeptical at this point if Kanye's even designing the new colorways. Like, I feel like he's just employed a bunch of people that are like like-minded individuals and are thinking up of these new colorways. Cause like they're, they're like all the same. I feel like Kanye, if he designs the sneaker, he actually takes it to a new level. I feel like they, they can't be, it, Kanye can't be designing this stuff. Anyway, anyway, so we are getting a new Yeezy 350 V2. Uh, technically, it has already released in China, but I doubt most of the people watching this channel are from China. So I'm going to be talking about the US release of this Yeezy and all the details surrounding that, where to cop, how much it is, what it looks like, all the details like that. How am I going to go about doing that? Well, I'm going to be using a Hypebeast article. Now, even though I'm, as I said at the start of the video, I'm a little bit like, uh, I don't really want to talk about Yeezy 350 V2s. If you want me to talk about more upcoming Yeezy releases, I will, of course, talk about them if you guys let me know. Let me know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, commenting in the comment section. Let me know. I mean, I will cover them regardless, but if this is a thing you want to see on the channel, you, you got to let me know. <laughs> Because in reality, views doesn't represent the best way for me to know what you guys want to cover. Because my most like watched videos are like off-white waffle racer videos. They're not Yeezy videos. So if you want me to talk about Yeezys, you want me to cover them, let me know. Let me know, let me know. But um, anyway, let's dive into the release details. Let's dive into where to cop them, how much they're going to cost. Hopefully it'll cover how many pairs are going to be released, like what's the quantity, we'll just have to see. The Hypebeast article will let us know, so without further ado, let's head over to the Hypebeast article covering the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350v2 Yesaya colorway. And here they are, and I just got to say, initially, they look like every other grey Yeezy that we've ever seen. I mean, there's going to be small detail differences, obviously, to make it look a little bit different from all the other, you know, stone gray Yeezys that we've seen, but at first glance, this looks like the past other five releases of stone slash gray Yeezys. <laughs> that, I, uh, it, I mean, maybe it's good. Maybe if you missed out on all the other colorways prior to this one, this is now your chance to pick it up. Maybe. But in saying that, it doesn't feel like Adidas and Yeezy are kind of, you know, taking it in some uh, some adventurous directions. The brand, you know, like it feels like they're kind of just playing it a bit safe. And they're like, you know what, all the other grey ones were popular, let's release it again, but we'll just change the outsole. <laughs> like, you know, like it doesn't feel like they're really taking these leaps and bounds in 2020 to make the 350 a talking point again. It's kind of just like, here's another one. <laughs> anyway, let's dive into it. Let's see what the release details are, and then we can dive into the images. But just at first glance as well, it looks like we might be getting it in a full size run as well. So, Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Yesaya receives official look and release dates. The long teased colorway will release in China on January 11th, so it's already released in China obviously by now, and in the US January 25th. Okay, let's keep diving in. So. Kanye and Adidas, Adidas's ever popular Yeezy Boost 350 V2. In saying that though, ever popular, it is some of the colorways, I won't say all the colorways, some of the colorways are sitting on shelves for a long period of time, which was unheard of when, when 350 V2s first released in the market. Like, they sold out instantly. And for many years they did. But now in 2019, 2020, they're starting to sit on shelves. So, I, I, if anything, I think that's a good sign that Adidas and Yeezy should reconsolidate and really think about the 350 V2s and how they can improve on them. But let's keep going. Is set to kick off 2020 with a Yesaya colorway. Teased since the beginning of December and originally dubbed the Tailgate by, earlier, by early reports, the light colored silhouette now has received official look and release dates. Weaving together soft grey and crisp white hues in equal measure on its knit upper, 
the Yesiah, Hebrew for God is salvation. I mean, you know, Kanye has been on his Jesus kind of thingy for a while now, so I can understand the name would be inspired by some kind of religious figure. Uh, presents an undeniable heavenly look. Heel tabs have been removed. Oh, interesting. I didn't notice that, but yeah, heel tabs have been removed. But the signature post dye mono monofilament side strip remains, offering extra tone and texture. Down below, a milky midsole houses a full length white boost cushioning system, while the outsole takes on a yellowed hue that is almost gum in nature. Yeah, I, okay, I'll give them that. I'll give them that. Gum is traditionally a lot more browner. This is a lot more skin toned, isn't it? Can we can we get some get some different images of that? Can we get a? Um, we can't get an outsole image. Okay, well I would have liked an outsole image, but they don't have one. So it does look a lot less gummy than your traditional gum soles. And we've seen gum soles on 350 V2s before. This does look a lot more skin toned with a hint of gum. So that's kind of interesting. Although the partnership between West and Adidas Originals is set to continue evolving in 2020, thanks to silhouettes like the Yeezy 700 V3, the Yeezy 500 High, and the Yeezy Boost 380, which they need to focus on in 2020 and beyond. Leave the 350 back in the 2010s. It's done. It's all good. Maybe release a third version that changes it up completely, but a 350 V2 and um, maybe the 350 V1, but primarily the 350 V2. Leave them in the 2010s. Let's focus on the 700s, the, fi or the 700 V3s, the 500 highs. I loved the 700 five a high. Sorry, the 700, no, the 500 high slate colorway. That was sick. That was awesome. Love that colorway. Wish it released in my size. Very nice shoe. Please do more of that. Stop doing 350 V2s out of this. Easy. Stop. Kanye. Stop. <laughs> It's too much. We're getting it. We have too many. And also, release those duck boots we've been seeing. I think they've been dubbed the 1050s. Those are hard, bro. Release those. Stop with the 350 V2s. The Yeezy Boost 350 V2 boasts enduring popularity more than three years after its first debut. This ensures that it'll be part of the Yeezy line offerings both this year and beyond. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. Uh, the Yesaya is first of several colorways that are set to hit shelves over the course of 2020. Uh, the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Yesaya will release on Yeezy Supply in China. Okay, interesting. On the 11th and will arrive in the US on the 25th. Okay, so I assume judging by how this sentence is structured, it means that it's going to release on Yeezy Supply on in the US on the 25th. You'd have to check Easy Supply. I'll link Easy Supply in the description section below for you fellas out there. They're a little bit too lazy to search it up yourself. Don't worry, I've got you covered. Full family sizes will be available with men's with men pairs retailing at the standard 220, kids at 160, and infants at 140. That's like I honestly think that's not a huge price difference between adults and kids and infants. I think it should be a little bit cheaper. I think kids should be like 120 and infants should be like 80 bucks, man. I think they're asking a bit much for kids and infant sizes. Honestly, I think they're a little bit too pricey at the retail price. I think they should be a little bit cheaper, but this is, this is why I'm not hired amongst the Adidas team and the Nike team because I'm all about low retail costs. <laughs> this is this is why I'm, I'm not employed in those sectors. Um, there are some, some other posts that Hypebeast is trying to sell off to me. There we go. Okay, so January 11th, 2020, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for China. Replace that with the 25th, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I assume, on Yeezy Supply. We'll have to have a look. 220 USD for the adults, 160 for the kids, and 140 for the uh, infants. Now, let's look at the colorway. Let's open up some images and have a look. Let's get a real close up. So, the comment that I made at the start that it's the exact same as all the other colorways we've seen it's true you prove me wrong prove me wrong in the comment section below we've seen stone gray and lightly done white hued Yeezys before many many times it doesn't feel like it's deviating enough from its predecessors where I feel like this is super unique I feel like this is just another Yeezy. If you legitimately had five dudes wearing all the stone-colored Yeezys, I would not be able to tell you each of the colorway names. I would be like, 
that is the stones. It's the Yesiah. I honestly wouldn't know. I would not be able to tell you. Not because I'm not a 350 V2 fan. It's just like they've been pumping them out. At least with like other Adidas releases, other Nike releases, other brand releases. When they release a silhouette and do colorways of it, they're so distinguishable that I would be able to tell you the colorways of those sneakers. Like I'd be able to say, with the, I mean, I always use it as an example, but with the Jordan 1s, you know, if you give me a black and red Jordan 1 and you give me a white and red and black Jordan 1, I can tell you, these are the breads, these are the Chicago's. If you gave me two of these Yeezys, this one and a previously released Stone 350 V2, I would look at both of them and be like, bro, I don't even know which one is the Yeshire. Like, I wouldn't be able to. I would have absolutely no idea. And that's, I think, my main issue with this one is, is that it doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't deviate itself. It just looks like every other Yeezy. And I'm just kind of, you know, sleeping on it. I'm just like, all right, cool. Thanks for another Yeezy release, I suppose. They need to change it up. That, as I've been saying in this video and many other 350 V2 videos, they need to change it up. Stop focusing on this shoe. I know it sells well, but you're killing your brand by releasing this over and over and over and over again. And a lot of people were like, ah, oh, but Jordan brand does the exact same thing. It releases a Jordan every single week. Yeah, but it releases it in colorways that you can literally tell the difference, as I mentioned, with other with other colorways they've released before. This is like the exact same stuff over and over again. Like, literally. So I think 2020 and beyond, Adidas, Yeezy, they need to do, as it mentioned in the article very well, they need to focus on silhouettes like the 700 v3 i think they need to tweak the 700 v3 and put boost in it but that's just my personal preference the yeezy 500 high amazing do a lot of colorways of that please it is an amazing sneaker that one and the yeezy boost 380 i think they could come up with something really cool with some really cool colorways with that but they're like focusing on something we've seen too much when really they should be you know opening up 2020 with these amazing new ideas and new concepts but they're not that's just how I feel about it. I mean, let me know in the comment section below. Come shout at me on Instagram. Shout at me on Twitter. Let me know how you feel about this colorway and how you feel about 350 V2s at this point in 2020. I mean, I think it's overdone. Need to tone it down. But maybe I'm just a minority here. Maybe everyone else feels totally different and they're just like, oh my God, the more 350 V2 releases. I love it. Let me know. Let me know either, as I said, on Twitter, Instagram, or in the comment section below, how you feel about the Yeezy Boost 350 Yeshire colorway. And that seems to be it. Um, just to quickly go over the release details again, um, it said Yeezy Supply. I don't know if it's releasing on adidas.com slash Yeezy. Um, I'll link that in the description section below and we can see if it's releasing there as well. But they're the primarily two biggest spots to go for. Um, I don't know if any stockists are storing them. Um, it doesn't look like that's the case. So I would say stick to Yeezy Supply to play it safe in the US and have a peep of adidas.com slash Yeezy to see if it's releasing there. But yeah, 220 USD for adults, 160 for kids, 140 for infants. Let me know if you're going to pick it up. Let me know if it's a miss for you, either in the comment section below, Instagram or Twitter. Let me know how you feel about this colorway. Are you in agreement with me that it doesn't deviate itself enough from the like the past 300 V2, 350 V2 colorways we've seen? Let me know. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions in that comment section below. I'll also have all the other previous Yeezy videos that I've done in the description section below as well if you want to check those out. All the socials will be down there, so if you want to come shout at me, just head on down below. Uh, if, as I said, if you want me to cover more 350 V2 colorways and all those releases and stuff, like the video. Comment on the video. Come let me know on Instagram. Because I'll do them. I'll do them. But I don't know if that's what you guys want to see on the channel as well. I'll always do upcoming sneaker releases. But I don't know how keen you guys are on uh, Yeezy Boost 350 V2s. So let me know. That has been the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Yesaya colorway. So until the next Yeezy video. Until the next sneaker video. Until the next streetwear video guys. I'll catch you later.